right, so we have carpeted stairs out here at 181 Sophia's going downstairs. And when you go downstairs, you have three options of places to go. If you go to the right, you have a large room, which we cannot consider a bedroom because there is no window. You have to have an egress window and a closet. So this would be considered an office or a bonus room. And it's large. It's probably 16 by 18 or so. It's a good sized room. Then we have a small bedroom. I say small. It's, it's also 18 or 19 feet long, but it's only about 12 feet wide. It has a closet. It has some built-in shelves behind the door. Everything in the basement has this beadboard ceiling. This one does have a window, of course. Carpet looks like it's in great shape throughout the basement. This goes out to a garage. Um, I know it's dark and there's not a light in here, but this garage is probably 30 feet deep and it's about 12 feet wide. Um, Apologize that it's dark. They definitely uh, need some light bulbs in the house. Breaker boxes in the back corner of this garage. This garage would be ideal for for a boat or anything of that sort, just because of how deep it is. You'd have no problem with a good sized boat. Utility room is here in the basement. HVAC system. A little bit of storage, just some shelves. Water heater, and just some more storage underneath the stairs coming down. Then you have kind of a second family room. You can see more of that beadboard ceiling. Now this room actually has more dog tooth crown mold as well. Same carpet is pretty much throughout the entire basement except for bathroom which we'll get to here in a second a little entrance area here out the back and of course the utility room had a tile floor you have another gas fireplace down here another built-in shelf and the bathroom in the basement just has a stand-up four foot fiberglass tower shower surround Simple vanity, and of course a toilet. And that's the basement.